Baylor, what have you seen from some of the newer transfer wide receivers and what do those guys need to do maybe specifically to break into the offense this year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, receivers obviously a position that we were looking to add depth. We felt really good about the guys we have. We obviously needed more. Um, so, I mean, Jay and Kyle have come in and, and added value right away and I think we just continue to make plays and they'll see themselves have a role in the offense. And then we've talked to a lot of folks about Elijah last year, just you know, accepting kind of a step Elijah down. Page. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, accepting a step down to the the, the scout team and you know, coming bouncing back from that and really gaining yeah. confidence. Uh, just how much trust do you have him now? Oh, having him now is you know kind of protecting that, that blind side. And you know, how have you seen that growth from him since that step? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've seen a ton of growth from him. Obviously, he, he really took a turn in terms of his development during the season last year. Um, and I think that was definitely like an accumulation of of the work he did leading up to that. It wasn't just like he woke up one day on scout team and was like, oh, I'm a much better player. Um, I think he, he did a ton of, ton of work throughout the summer and throughout fall camp, and he kind of saw that come to fruition um, throughout the season. And I think since then, he's kind of just, he's kind of run with it. Obviously, he got, got the opportunity to start in the bowl game, did really, really well, and I think he's kind of just run with that, run with that from there on. And I think he's doing a great job. And he's he's one of the, obviously, Jonah's the leader of that group, but he's stepped up and really, really been a guy that Jonah can rely on, and obviously, that I can rely on as well. You and, you, you and Desai's of Zamora got here at the same time. What was it like for you to see him get put on scholarship? Just higher? No, it was awesome. Um, I mean, just see how hard he's worked and um, just for him to be able to get his master's degree paid for, I think, I mean, that, it's like, it's life changing, you know, it's a lot more than football and really, really happy for him and his family, obviously his brother's here now as well. So um, life changing moment for him and it couldn't happen to a better guy. So just really happy for him. This is the first, this is the first season of in helmet communication. How has that worked so far with, with you and Lincoln and what have you just thought of these early days having that as, a, as something you can use? It's been good. I mean, it's it's kind of weird because like someone's talking to you and you can't talk back to them, which Coach Riley might be happy about. But um, it's been cool. I mean, obviously we started using it in the spring and I think we've gotten better in terms of how we navigate that. Um, obviously it cuts out a certain amount of seconds. So um, I think it's good. It's a good tool, but I don't think it's a substitute for being prepared. So um, I think it's just a tool. What were the initial bumps maybe like first couple times you used it? Would you have to get used to it? I think just switching over from like a predominantly signal-based communication system to a verbal one, that was that was really the biggest hurdle um, in terms of like there's there's kind of little things that come up that you, you don't necessarily anticipate because you're so used to doing it a certain way. But um, I think we've done a good job navigating them and obviously Coach Riley's done a phenomenal job in, in doing that as well. So um, like I said, I think it's a, it's a good tool for us to operate more efficiently, but um, it's not a substitute for being prepared. I talked to Jacoby Lane and Makai Lemon during Big Ten Media Day. They've just talked about the chemistry between you guys and, and how it's grown. Just in the last year, how have you seen that chemistry blossom and, and see it out on the field so far? Yeah. Um, I mean, one thing I would say about them is, like, I think this goes for, for that whole group. I mean, Deuce, Kyron, Jack, Lem. I know I'm leaving out someone. Kyle, uh, Jay. Like, I, I'm leaving out people. I know, but not intentionally. Um but yeah, that that whole group's been awesome. Just in that, like, those are guys that are always, like, they're always eager to work. They're never, there's never gonna be guys that I'm texting to go throw and they're not gonna show up or anything like that. So I think just the want to be great um, and the want to get to the level that we need to get to has been great to see from them. And it's it's awesome for me to work with guys like that, just because that's always been my attitude. So to be surrounded by those guys has been awesome, and they make me better each and every day. So I think we're gonna continue to grow together, and I think we've done all the work to put ourselves in a position to, to be successful. Where, where, where's your comfort level right now with the offense? Ten being perfect and one being where are you at? Just with the offense as a whole. I mean, <laughs> I feel pretty comfortable. I don't know if I'll put a number on it, but um, I mean, obviously I've, I've played with Coach Riley now going on year three. Um, been in the system for a while, and uh, obviously things change week to week. But I feel really, feel really comfortable in how how we navigate different challenges that come up this season, um, and just try to be that guy that, that can be an extension the coaching staff on the field. Just a quarterback, you've had a front row seat to seeing that first team offensive line go against the first team defensive right. line. Who, who's impressed you, and why? Emmanuel Pregnant, I think, on the offensive line has really made a jump. Um, he had a concerted effort, you know, to, to really become bigger and stronger throughout the offseason. I think he did that. Um, I think he's been killing it in uh, in the in the run game and in the pass game. So, I mean, he's uh, obviously there are a multitude of guys that have stood out, but I don't think E-Man's really stood out. And on defensive line, I mean, it's kind of been – 
There's so many guys. Braylon Shelby's done a really good job. Uh, Gavin Meyer, who we had in the portal, has been great. Nate Clifton's been great. Obviously, Bears coming back um, after missing spring. So I think there's a really deep group there that we've uh, had the opportunity to use, and I'm excited to see those guys um, on Saturdays. Thank you, man.